Hello everyone. I had to get a four-wheeler from top rack behind the GTO, so I figured this is a good time to get both of the cars together, the GTO and SS. Just a real quick. Hello, how do you do beautiful video? The 2016 Chevy SS, and that is a 2005 Pontiac GTO, a little over 700 to the wheels. And this one, hopefully, uh, within the next month or two, with a Whipple supercharger kit, uh, we'll be pushing just under six to the wheels. And this is my daily driver, one of them. So that ought to be plenty. I've already done a couple minor cosmetic mods to it, um, and I'm going to continue to. I installed a stereo today, amp and subwoofer anyway. I did a little carbon fiber on the fuse box under the hood, put LED dome lights in. Um, I think that's all I've done so far. I will be doing some changes to the wheels and tires. I'm eventually going to go with bigger wheels, um, but I want to get the Whipple on there first. It's the it's a big money purchase, so I want to get that have the funds for that before I I waste money on wheels and tires when it doesn't need it. I mean, really, I don't think the car looks bad the way it is. Aside from the wheels are too far in the wheel wells. In my opinion, I think they need spacers just to bring them out so that they're not sucked in so much. I mean, barely, barely bring them out and I'll be happy and get some bigger wheels on them. It'll fill in those wheel, wheel wells a lot better. I'm not gonna lower it at all. There is magnetic ride control on it. Um, I know that there's a little tiny bit of a wiggle room I can lower it, but I'm not going to. Um, like I said, with bigger wheels, that ought to do the job. Kaylee, get over here. And I'll be happy. So, anyways, there they are. Thank you for watching. Stay posted. Have a blessed day.